Hello everyone. Today I thought I would share how I use my happy planner. Um, I don't use it for appointments and to-do lists and things like that. I actually use um, something called a Molang diary. Um, it's bullet journal-esque. I got it from Amazon and it's just a little cute Korean um, book planner. That's the word. So, as you can see, I made a cover for my happy planner. Um, I used these wall stickers from the Dollar Tree. And sorry if you start to hear growling or jingling in the background. My dogs are not being cooperative with me today um, because they don't have any manners. So yeah, I just used some paper and I used these wall stickers because I like unicorns and I think it looked whimsical and pretty and I like to change my covers because I get bored of them. So how I use my planner, I actually got the idea from these happy planner pages where it says currently this month reading, watching, cooking, eating, loving, dreaming, etc. You can write your goals for the month, some notes, any birthdays or important dates. Um, I kind of do that. I'll show you my November monthly spread. So in this, um, I wrote down um, daylight savings time ending, um, Veterans Day, and Thanksgiving Day. And then I found a poem online and I wrote it out on these little boxes, the three stanzas of the poem. And that is it. And then I've already started on this and um, I actually made a video for this layout. It's pretty simple, but I just wanted something I don't know, spring-like, because I'm not actually a fan of cold weather. Like today, it's really gloomy, and it's not that cold because it's South Texas. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. Yeah, that was my dog just now, hitting my camera setup. So yeah, so I just kind of have like a weekly audit, as I like to call it. Um, but it can change. This week I wrote I am feeling, I am reading, I am eating, um, what I am planning because I just started this YouTube channel so I am planning more YouTube videos and more planner layouts and I'm working on some plush patterns because I would like to make some plush that are easy and show you guys how to make them too. And then I'm also planning a Thanksgiving dinner made entirely of side dishes because A, I don't eat meat, so I won't be cooking a turkey, and I don't like vegetarian turkeys. Um, and also the sides are the best part of any meal, so why not make an entire meal of sides?
is I take some of the months out and um, I think it's easier to work with. I'm actually not a fan of the whole disc system they have going on um, and it doesn't matter like how big I cut the holes in my uh, planner covers. I feel like even the papers don't really like to flip. I'm I much per I much prefer a ring bound like binder or um, spiral bound but I really enjoy that you can take the papers out so easily and I just love to decorate it and I feel like I can go kind of buck wild on it <laughs> and you really can't mess it up oh I thought I would show you some October since October is over but what I did with October and I just wrote some little um, quotes from other people um, Emily Bronte these are things that I wrote myself October is dry leaves blowing down a suburban street candles and windowsills the smell of apples of fires of cold rainstorms on moonless nights October is the taste of caramel pumpkin spice of crisp morning air October is witches and goblins ghosts honoring the dead the smell of incense the smell of wood smoke October is ushering in the holiday season a new year new beginnings and fresh starts October is spooky scary cozy rainy and beautiful and if you can't tell October is my favorite month of the year I don't really have a reason other than it has Halloween and it just makes me feel nice personalized cover let me know um, and I'll make a video about it and even if you don't I'll probably still make a video about it because I want to make a new cover I actually got a really cute calendar that I want to use the images out of it's all about coffee and coffee is my favorite drink and yeah see you next time